Well, fugitive Catalan leader Carlos Puigdemont has been detained by the German police. The Puigdemont had in fact fled Finland on Saturday to temporarily avoid a European arrest warrant. This morning he has phoned me that he was arrested in Germany near the border of Denmark and Germany. He was coming from Finland where he has given a lecture for the students. He is arrested uh, because there is an European warrant uh, order of Spain. Meanwhile, protesters took to the streets of Barcelona and clashed with the police against the arrest of the Catalan leader. The Puigdemont has been living in self-imposed exile in Belgium and had been visiting Finland on and off since talks with lawmakers. He is wanted in Spain on charges of rebellion and sedition and is also facing up to 25 years in prison. On Friday, Spain had issued an international arrest warrant for five other separatist leaders, which included four former ministers who were also in self-imposed exile in Belgium. Hem rebut amb tristesa la notícia de la detenció del president Carles Puigdemont a Alemanya. Amb aquestes accions no s'està perseguint només a persones, sinó que s'està segrestant la voluntat del conjunt del poble de Catalunya, expressada a les urnes. El president Puigdemont ho és en virtut de la decisió lliure, sobirana i democràtica dels seus conciutadans, expressada en el Parlament. I cap jutge, ni cap govern, ni cap funcionari té la legitimitat per cessar i encara menys per seguir el president de tots els catalans. All right, so that is how the Catalonians are in fact viewing this. They've called this act of arresting Carlos Puigdemont and four other ministers, former ministers of Catalonia, is nothing short of persecution that Spain has resorted to. Remember, Carlos Puigdemont has been in self-imposed exile for a fair bit of time now, ever since he had made this unilateral declaration of independence from Spain, and that was something that was not acceptable to Madrid. And post that, there was another election that was held in which, again, it was the separatists which managed to win it in the month of December. And to discuss what exactly is happening in Barcelona and what will be the implication of this arrest, we are joined in by our senior foreign affairs editor, Padma Rao, who joins us. Good morning to you, Padma. This is a very, very significant development, considering that Carlos Puigdemont has been arrested almost, you know, after several months of him having been in self-imposed exile. What could you think could possibly have been the trigger for Spain to have acted in this manner? Well, Spain hasn't arrested him yet, uh, Saleh. What Spain has done has refresh uh, an arrest warrant, a Europe-wide arrest warrant that was uh, issued for him, as mm -hmm. well as an extradition request to all the other European countries. Mm -hmm. uh, now, uh, what I would like to say is that uh, the reaction in uh, Catalonia itself, uh, if you notice, it's been much sharper than we expected uh, because uh, we, uh, you know, now uh, uh, hundreds of people have poured out on the streets. Amongst them are also many people who are not necessarily supportive of Mr. Puigdemont's, uh, you know, extremely uh, sort of uh, uh, anti-government stand. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, there is, seems to be that unity that has come about primarily because he's been arrested in Germany. Now, let's not forget Germany is you know, seen as the engine room of the European Union. So uh, some of, you know, emotions are running high and people think that uh, what will happen in Ger so Germany is more, most likely to adhere to the extradition request and the arrest warrant. Uh, right. However, let me quickly add, uh, Sally, there are very interesting reactions coming out of uh, Germany itself. Uh, mm -hmm. He was arrested in Flensburg uh, on the northern border to Denmark uh, mm -hmm. in the state of Schles uh, Schleswig-Holstein. And it will be the magistrate of uh, Schleswig-Holstein, the chief judge, who will decide today, uh, uh, you know, as to, as to how to uh, go about it based on documents that have been provided to the court there by Spain, by the government of Spain. Now, the interesting reactions coming out of the German government itself, the justice minister who belongs to the Social Democrats has said that the government will certainly not interfere in what is essentially a judicial uh, process and will be conducted by Schleswig-Holstein's court. Uh, the left and the Greens uh, who, are sit, uh, who are in a in a minority in the opposition. Uh, the left, of course, is, is saying that this is his arrest in Germany is a shame and, you know, he should be, it's undemocratic and he should be right. released and, you know, free to go. Uh, the Greens in the opposition are saying, let the law take its own course. And But they did suggest, uh, suggest that the Catalonia standoff is essentially Spain's domestic issue, which it is. And the FTP liberals in the opposition, now they're splitting hairs, they're saying, Ultimately, it's for the judge in Schleswig-Holstein to decide. Uh, but, you know, they're suggesting that while the charge of rebellion mm -hmm. would not possibly be a reason for extradition from Germany, right. the other charges, 
you know, like treason, etc., might be worthy of extradition. So the liberals are taking a very nuanced uh, stand there. So I think uh, the story is playing out uh, very interestingly in Germany and on the streets of Catalonia. I think a large part of that uh, that enormously emotional backlash we are seeing mm -hmm. is also the fact that he's been arrested in Germany and Germany's position within the European Union as it's uh, one of its two engine rooms, the other being France. All right, an interesting, interesting take there. And also, Padma, considering the fact that it is Spain that renewed the international arrest warrant on Friday, and it is after this that this, uh, this arrest has taken place, do you think the Catalonian protesters would now harden their stance? Because what's been happening ever since the December elections is that there have been three separate candidates. Uh, there was Jordi Torrell and there was also Jordi Sanchez. All, both of them have been arrested. And now Carlos Puigdemont has been arrested while he was trying to return from Finland to the place where he's in self-imposed exile, that is Belgium. So can we see a hardening of stance on the part of the separatists in Catalonia? Well, what I see on the streets of Catalonia like right now, as I said uh, earlier, Saleh, is the fact that it is essentially an emotion-tinged reaction. Mm -hmm. uh, because if you know, uh, in the preceding months, uh, you know, when it became clear to even Mr. Puigdemont's supporters that, uh, that uh, you know, that, that uh, he is in exile and self-imposed exile in Belgium and that there are serious charges uh, against him, uh, you know, the, the other parties uh, began to adopt a more conciliatory position towards Madrid uh, and said that, you know, they were, they were considering how to work this around uh, along with Madrid's support. Uh, but, uh, but yes, uh, certainly all the parties in uh, Barcelona are essentially pro-independence uh, or for, at least for greater autonomy. Right. Uh, but the fact that they have, you know, they were at least willing, I mean, there, were, there was a certain, uh, you know, a, a sluggish political process, if you like, in place. Uh, over the last few months while Mr. Puigdemont was still in Belgium. But mm -hmm. having left Belgium, he went to Finland uh, for, an, uh, for a lecture in, in, at the university in Finland. And then he, he, was, he says, his spokeswoman says he was on his way back from Finland via Denmark to mm -hmm. Belgium. And, you know, as it turns out, the, of course, that's the autobahn that you take the A7 from the north when you cross the Danish border mm -hmm. into Germany and you slice through a bit of Germany. Now, uh, Sally, you and I know that, you know, these are not the days, the good old days of the 70s in Europe of easy open borders anymore. Mm -hmm. If nothing else, terrorism itself has ensured greater uh, coherence between individual border authorities. So if, you know, if, I mean, it is natural that if, if the arrest warrant was, uh, was, was refreshed by Madrid just days ago and the Danish police already, you know, had a red alert going off on their screens, uh, right. that they were, there was an arrest imminent even in Denmark. So if he's been arrested in Denmark, uh, you know, I, I mean, I, I suspect to think as, as, as somebody who's lived in Europe for a long time, that the reaction may not, in the, on the streets of Barcelona, may not have been quite as emotional right. and uh, as instant and outpouring. Uh, but being Germany, you know, that lends mm -hmm. a certain uh, frisson, if you like, to his mm -hmm. arrest. And uh, it remains to, I think, we were in for an interesting morning today. Absolutely, indeed. We'll have to leave it there. Thank you very much, indeed, Padmara, for joining us and getting us all those insights into what is, in fact, playing out in, in, in this Catalonian crisis. And we haven't seen the last of it.